<laughs> Shut up. These two were together, you yeah. see? Yeah. She said to it, yeah. yeah. Three times, but don't you tell my husband. <laughs> I wonder how those two are getting on. What do you mean? Well, they're out by now. You think so? Yeah. Well, Alec must have phoned about an hour ago, right? Now, those coppers, they don't hang about, you know. You know, she did an arse struggle going down those stairs, Griff. I wouldn't mind being locked up with her for a couple of hours myself. Yeah, a lot of good that would do you, mate. What, with your hands and feet tied? <laughs> oh, it wouldn't take them long to get out of those. Let's face it, we didn't have much time to do a good job on them. You know, I reckon, I reckon we've done them a favour. Well, how's that? Well, now, look, where do people like that get anything to talk about? They're going to be talking about this for about five years. <laughs> look, let's start splitting the money. No, out, wait. Wait until Alec comes. Let's look at it for a bit. Capitalists, that's what we are, mate. Capitalists. Do you know how long it would take us to save this type of money? You know, you mean what we earn? Yeah, too long. You got a fag? In my jacket. We we'll split this three ways. That'll give us about 10,000 quid each. Then we do as we planned. We stash it away for, you know, maybe two, three years until it all quietens down. And then buy a showroom. An agent, maybe two agencies even, you know something? With capital behind us, that puts us in a very different position, you know that? Yeah, well, um, I've just been thinking. I've had a better idea. Mm. I instead of splitting it three ways, why don't we split it two ways? What are you talking about? Well, me and Alec, and, and you get yours like this. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. You know, you ought to be on television. Yeah, well, I've thought that, actually. I mean, I've got the face for it, really. Mm. I mean, watch this. Da-da-da-da! Mm. Bang! Bang! Da, 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 bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous? I mean, what kids can buy today? Can you wonder there's so much juvenile crime about? What's that? Hmm? Oh, that's Ali. Look, just let him walk in and see it. Don't tell him. Good afternoon, sir. Is this Mr. Alec Warren's flat? Yes. Can we come in? He's not here at the moment. Anything wrong? Are you related to him, sir? No. No, but his brother's here. I wonder if we might see him. Yeah. Will you wait a second? Please. There must be two about Alec. Oh, no, no. I don't know, it's nothing to do with this. Now pull yourself together. It's all right. Good afternoon, sir. Gentleman says you're a relative of Mr. Alec Warren. Uh, yes, that's right. He's uh, he's my brother. Uh, I'm Lem Warren. We're in business together, Alec and me. Um, oh, uh, this is Mr. Griffiths. He's a um, business partner of ours. You probably know our yard, Griffiths and Warrens. It's, it's down the road, round the corner. You know, by the zebra crossing. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Your brother, Mr. Warren, has been involved in a car accident. Well, is he... is he badly hurt? I'm afraid he's dead. Alex dead? Well, him. Well, there must be some mistake. Are you sure it's Alec? I'm afraid so. Letters, his driving license. Where? Near Stanford, on a bend, that stretch coming from Tedham. Was he? Instantaneous. I'm sorry to have to ask these questions, but I'm sure you'll understand. Are there any other relatives? <coughs> no, um, uh, it's only Len. There's the question of formal identification. Your brother's at Stanford Mortuary. We'll arrange transfer for you, of course. Yeah, um, I'll see to all that. Sorry we had to bring this news. Yeah. 